guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to our brand new series... Snack Showdown. Yep, it is episode three of our little mini series and I've been really enjoying it so far. Yeah, me too. In this series, we're pitting British items versus American items in a proper head to head. Because before we've tried stuff from America, obviously we tried stuff from the UK, but we've never done a head to head trying the them video. together we're also trying them blindfolded so it's nice and fair to see which one we like although best. we're not actually trying them blindfolded we're just trying them with, with our, our eyes, eyes closed. closed because kate's worried about her makeup <laughs> well i just think you can see if my eyes are closed or not and yeah. what's there to be gained supremacy nothing, nothing. Oh. in this video we've got american kit kat versus uk kit kat 100 gram bar versus toffee crisp and either almond joy or mounds versus a bounty where do you want to start then i think we go kit kat kit kat let's take a break the video's only started but we'll take a quick break we need you in america to let us know do you have the saying have a break have a kit kat is that a universal it literally says that there we go Don't so need to ask anyone looking at the packet very different colors and shine does hershey's just own all of chocolate things in I america i think so cool it looks like dated doesn't it like retro yeah, it looks, it looks like they bought out a retro bar whereas Kit Kat Nestle have gone much more modern. Yeah. Kit Kat USA introduced September 1935. It's been going the quite well, owner then. is Nestle, but Hershey's US license. Mm. So kind of like Cadbury's, is it still a Nestle thing? But yeah. in America, Hershey's controls Have the it. the license. Yeah. Which is so funny. Maybe license that to what? Like make them and license sell them. License to the brand Kit Kat. Right. License to make this in America. Maybe Nestle wanted to concentrate on Europe or they wanted to concentrate somewhere Maybe else. Maybe they just... They were just like, you can have the license if you want to make that. Because they could obviously get some money still from it. And they get some it. money from it, yeah. Interesting. UK introduced September 1935, the same year. Hmm. But the previous owner, 1935 to 1988, was Roundtree. Roundtree. Did Before you know that? Before it was that? bought by Nestle. And then, now Nestle. That's so funny. I always thought Roundtree was like sweets and stuff. Me too. One thing I do miss though is these foil. used to be foil and then like paper. Yeah. Is that the same in America as well, do you think? It used to go... Go down the fingers. Now we don't get that satisfaction. God, the plastic on that is so God, solid. Yeah, it is. Whereas yeah. this is still kind of like foiling. Again, if you haven't seen our previous videos, we will leave a link up there. But yet again, UK chocolate looks darker. darker. Close your eyes. I want to okay. do a quick thingy. T smell test. Don't say until you okay. smell both, okay, Mel? Which one is UK? Second one? Yeah. I think that's a really distinctive smell to me. Yeah. That like brings me back to childhood. Because somehow, even though it's completely consumed by the chocolate, I can almost smell the wafer. Yeah. Whereas in this, I can only smell chocolate. Yeah. Okay. I think I know already. Okay. Number two. Number two was definitely the British Kit Kat. Yeah, it was. It's so obvious. Really? Sometimes with our British candy boxes, like I don't always like to just put a plain Kit Kat in. I like to do our flavors, but there really is a difference. So I think I might do a plain four finger Kit Kat in one of our candy boxes. But in some ways, the plain four fingers is the best flavor, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, mine is the chunky version though. The Kit Kat chunky. Oh, oh yeah. Kit Kat chunky, Kit Kat so chunky plain is like so literally good, the yeah. best. I will find this interesting if you can't separate okay. them. <laughs> I'm Question pop that on everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty obvious to me. Okay, are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Number one. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Don't open. Number two. Although well, maybe I should have got you to cleanse your palate in between. I need to. Oh. Is that obvious to you? So obvious. Yeah. It's so funny how if you looked at them, they are the exact same thing. They got wafer in the middle, they got chocolate around the outside. They're in the same shape. They've got the same stamps. It's got the similar packaging, but they just taste so different. Mm -hmm. This one, the chocolate is so sugary. And I the really wafer don't like the sugar oh, taste of almost nothing. Yeah, it's in, a lot like harder. Yeah, whereas in this one, the wafer is so caramelly almost. It's like And the chocolate kind of breaks together. It's so rich mm. and delicious. I, I never really I picked Kit Kats, but it's so good. Mm. I was kind of like, how much more would I like it? Mm. That wins hands down. That is so good. We've had Kit Kat America before and we've realized it's not as nice. No. But to try them next to each other, it's, it's such so, a stark difference. Yeah, it's so eye-opening. In round one, we are going 
Kit Kat UK. Yeah, that's for sure. Round two, not something that is actually the same. Yeah. But our closest matches. I've got a hundred grand bar. And I've got a Nestle Toffee Crisp bar. This has got rich caramel, milk chocolate, and crispy crunchies, which is very similar to a Toffee Crisp. Yeah, which is toffee and crisp cereal filled with milk chocolate. Some interesting facts. Yeah, I'd love some because I can't actually see anywhere on here. You will oh, in a I minute. I can see, yes. 100 grand USA produced by Ferrera Company. Ferrera. Created by Nestle in 1964. Mm. So it was actually Nestle that created it. And then it's now the Ferrera Company, which is like the Ferrera, Ferrera Russia. Russia. Toffee Chris UK produced by Macintosh in 1963, wow. which is when it was introduced. Is that like Millie Macintosh's yes, family? I'm pretty sure. Who do more biscuits yeah. because this was also a biscuit bar. Ah. And then it's now Nestle. So at one point Nestle was going around buying all the British. Yeah. Like Macintosh. But I guess a lot of them were all family businesses. Yeah. And I guess they got to a certain point where it's like the we'll person who started, it's like, we'll pass it on, we'll get the wealth now and yeah. our kids and, also, and grandkids will all be, you It know, might have got to a point where it's like, let's enjoy life now. Yeah. And I feel like business and industries have changed a lot in the last 50 yeah. years. Um, so it's probably better taking your money now and giving yeah. it to someone who knows it's what they're someone. doing. I'm really interested in this one. And if I was to put my bets in now, I actually think America might win on this one because... The last few times we've had Toffee Crisp, it's not as indulgent as it used to really? be. Really? They changed the recipe. Yeah, remember there's like hardly any caramel. Whereas a hundred grand is it's like mainly caramel. all caramel inside. I haven't had a hundred gram bar in ages, so no, I'm very neither. excited. How cute. Yours is in two little two pieces. Two little bars. This is one big chocolate log. I'm gonna drop off some timber. Did one like that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. look, there's not much caramel these days and there's Rice Krispies and chocolate in the bottom. Mm. The thing is, <sighs> With this Hello. one, I don't think we need to do a blind taste test. I think you'd be able to tell. Yeah. I think this one, we just need to truthfully say what our opinion is. Okay, well, let's try at the same time then. Yeah. Do you want to go which first? Uh, let's go Toffee, Toffee Crisp. Crisp. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. And did you know? What? I have an old cooking recipe here on YouTube, back in, in the Kitchen with Kate days. Homemade Toffee Trying Crisp. i to plug the old videos. And I'm sorry, but I make them better than Toffee Crisp. Bold claim. Because? Because. You don't have to do this when you make it, but in the biscuit base, I melt Mars bars into it. Ah, so it makes it like- even richer. Chewy and richer. Mm. I just love the combination of chocolate, Rice Krispies and, and caramel. caramel. Amazing. Right, cheers. cheers. Look at all that caramel in there. It's been years since we tried this. Mmm. Mmm. It's very different. Do you get a slight nutty flavor? No. They're very different. I like the Toffee Crisp because it's actually quite much softer than you think it'll be. Mm. You kind of just bite through it. But then I really like this because there's so much caramel mm -hmm. in the middle and it's so rich and delicious. It's very hard. I think I might have to give it to the 100 gram bar. Me too. I really like that. The caramel is so chunky in the mm -hmm. middle. It's just very like decadent experience, isn't it? A Toffee Crisp really is delicious. Yeah, it's delicious, yeah. But I think the 100 grand is winning because I just love how much caramel is in there how much chew you get. So for round two, we are going USA. Still both fantastic. Yep, very good. Round three. Mounds. Versus Bounty. But for also just a little bit of added fun, we've also got Almond Joy, because that's pretty similar. Yeah. Although it's got the nut on top. We will tell. You guys have definitely said in the comments, there are some of you that love Almond Joy, but hate Mounds. Love Mounds, hate Almond Joy. So I think there is more of a difference than anything. Mounds say, the Hershey's company. Excuse me. Over here it says Peter Paul. Am I giving away <laughs> all your Paul. info? Well, I don't know anything about Peter, Peter Paul. Peter Paul Spectre. Mounds, introduced in 1920. Wow. As 104 years ago, and the owners are Hershey's. What, and always been Hershey's? Yeah, says that. Yeah, so maybe we search Peter Paul. Almond Joy, introduced in 1946. So that is 26 years later. Mm. Produced by Hershey's and Bounties UK, introduced in 1951. So the latest out of all three of them and produced by Mars Incorporated. Interesting. I have no clue who Paul Spector is. <laughs> Peter Paul. <laughs> Peter Paul. Oh, wow. When was the last time you saw her at the bottom of a bounty? That says bounty and it's got a little palm tree. Oh, yeah. Peter Paul Candy Manufacturing Company was founded by six Armenian immigrants, including Peter Paul Haljian. In 1929, the company acquired the Mounds Candy Bar line from West Haven, Connecticut, candy maker Vincent Nitido. 
the Mounds Bar became a hit in the US. Well, sorry. So I, it's even older than you thought it was. It's even older than it says. They acquired them in 1929. 1929? How funny. So maybe they were from 1920, but they were actually... Why are we on Almond Joy now? That's Almond Joy. Oh, that's Joy. Almond Joy. Was are they Peter Paul? Maybe Peter they're both Paul? Mounds Dreams, Almond Joy... Peanut, Peanut butter, butter with, with no, no jelly. jelly. York peppermint patty. No way. Caramello. Caravelli. Powerhouse and almond cluster. This is confusing so, then because the history I found was Hershey's. It was founded in 1919. No manufacturing way. plant near Nantucket, Connecticut. The first product was a Kona bar consisting of chocolate covered coconuts. So they're obviously very into their coconuts. 1978, Peter Paul Cadbury closed its manufacturing plant and operations moved to Nantucket. Hershey Company purchase Peter Paul along with their entire US chocolate business from Cadbury Schweppes in 1988. Oh, Maybe gosh. Hershey's are trying to rewrite history. Dark chocolate and coconut dark chocolate. and this is milk. Milk chocolate. Bounty do also have a dark so maybe I should have picked up a dark. Maybe. Look that just looks so sad and look at those ripples. You could surf off them. The mounds is literally as I imagine they just made them back in the day. I've done small sizes because yeah. we're not fans. Close your eyes, close your eyes, eyes open your closed. mouth. Three, two, one. And well, do you fine. like it? It's quite nice. I would never pick it. No, neither. But there is actually something nice about the coconut. Much of a flavour difference? Not really. Yeah, because I feel like coconut, coconut is like coconut and I feel like it's just coconut and sugar, isn't it? This is slightly looser, is the second one. Slightly more moist. I think that one is the mounds. The second one is the mounds. And the first one is the... Correct. Because I just could taste the darker chocolate. Do you do you have a preference? Did you prefer the dark with mm, it? If anything, I think I preferred the mounds because it was slightly looser texture. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Right, Can you, you give me the two smaller pieces? Yes, please? sure. Ready? Yep. You gave me an end piece. No. You did. I thought you'd like it, small chocolate. You said okay. <laughs> the thing is, if you hadn't said anything, I probably would have just given them to you anyway because you asked for it. Right, that's one. Who chooses to eat desiccated cone? I don't know. The end again! <laughs> you have to keep it even. It is looser. Oh. That's American. How do you know? You can taste the dark. Yeah. And the inside is sweeter. Yeah, it's a little bit, isn't it? I'd say the difference is more the texture and more the, the chocolate. At quite... the end, it still comes like paper mache. Yeah. I feel like quite often I have an opinion on whether something with a chocolate outer should be milk or dark. But with this, they both work. You can taste the dark more than you can taste the milk. But... I almost didn't taste the dark until about halfway through there. Yeah, it's like right at the end. I'm, I definitely prefer the mounds inside. Mm. Now I'm interested because an almond joy is actually milk chocolate. This is crazy. Coconut and then you've got an almond on top. For me, this is the worst bar. Do you <laughs> know what, world. actually? If they did almond joy dark, that would be the worst bar. That would be the worst. Oh my God. <laughs> they look so homemade. It's like... I love over time they haven't like tried to improve it. They're just like... Yep, that's what it is. People like it as it is. Let's leave it. And do you want me to cut that in? I think cut in half so we each get an almond. Oh, this seems quite sugar pasty. Oh, that almond is so strong. I don't even eat the almond. You've got to. Mm -mm. That's where the joy is. That's the same company. But yeah. the mixture is so different. I'm going Mounds, Bounty, Almond Joy. Yeah, me too. I'm pretty sure it was Mounds that most of you preferred. That almond on top is just so drying and so nutty that... Yeah, was it awful? It's not awful. But... It's just not as good, for I don't me think, it as Mounds. Be. Yeah, you'd hate it. So, in episode three, first winner, UK Kit Kat. Followed by a 100 gram bar. And then finally, Mounds taking it for Team America. Yeah, that's 2-1. It's one. like evening out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because the first episode was 2-1 to the UK. Episode two was a win to the UK, but two draws. Two draws. So I think that's... What, this the, one? The episode is almost like a draw, yeah. in a way. And it, then today has gone two to I America. think after today, it's like evened Even it out. Even Stevens, yeah. So isn't that crazy? Mm. There are real differences yeah. in like products that look almost the same. Yeah. So just because you don't like something in your country, you should try it in another country, yeah, shouldn't you? But anyway, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, me too, it? yeah. It's nice to go head to head for a change as opposed yep. to just like trying a thing. And also, it's been so long since we've had like a 100 gram bar. 
are mm. and stuff like that. Some of these oh. classic American things that we've had like four years ago now, yeah. it's like we almost need to try them all again. Yeah, definitely. Um, because our tastes have changed so much in like four or five yeah, years. just think of all the peanut butter stuff you'd like that now. I would now love I know isn't that funny I'd be like yeah. a totally different person but anyway we really hope you enjoyed watching that if you would like to try some of the UK items that we are trying in these videos we will leave a link to our website down below not only do we have boxes we sell a lot of individual items like the toffee crisp Kit Kat chunkies things like that so you can definitely get your hands on those anyway anyway <laughs> I've never said it before <laughs> anyway guys we hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next week is that see what you ya. say I, you say bye guys and I go see ya. Okay. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you next okay. week. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. <laughs> what? I've heard you say it a million times. I know, times. but you drive it out and go, <laughs> <laughs> I do the hard yeah. stuff sometimes. The hard sometimes. Stuff. <laughs> oh, you can't do it. <laughs> you need a you need a text prompt. You've got such a high anyway, we hope you guys enjoy watching the scene. Yeah, maybe we should get a little uh, Yeah, no, we don't need an eye gadget. Anyway we <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. See ya. <laughs> Did I do it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Slipping through my fingers all the time oh. as well. Oh, no. Why is that off? Oh. But you can get up.